is everywhere. The CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, has announced a complete shift of Facebook as an organization to Metaverse, changing their name to Meta. Similarly, tech giants such as Google and Microsoft have also placed their bets on the Metaverse. A research by Bloomberg suggests that Metaverse itself could become an 800 billion market by 2024. Today, we have invited a very talented entrepreneur and businesswoman, Miss Emma Quinn, who enjoys an experience of over one and a half decades on the gaming space, earning her considerable accolades in the gaming community and allowing her to establish vast industry networks. During this time, she also worked with Fortune 500 company to create software to increase Miss efficiency as well as working in a manager capacity with a major UK-based gaming retailer. She's also set up and run several magic electronic gaming tournaments and has been called on as a media spokesperson for the eSports phenomenon. Now she's on a mission of launching her own project, Metagod, which is creating an entire ecosystem around Metaverse. The Metagod project has managed to secure over a $900,000 worth of seed funds from two ladies' venture capital firms, The X Venture and Mom Studio. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Miss Emma, the founder and CEO of Metagold. Miss Emma, a very warm welcome to our show today. It's an absolute pleasure to having you among us. To start, please give us an introduction about yourself. Well, Nancy, thank you very much, first and foremost, for inviting me and offering me with the opportunity to represent Metagod before your audience. My name is Emma Quinn, and I have the honour of founding Metagod. I have over 15 years of experience in the gaming space, where I've successfully assisted companies and startups from the ground up to successful revenue-generating products. I'm a, a work-in-progress entrepreneur, having experience in building multiple companies from the ground up. Today, we can proudly boast of working with top brands like Tencent, NFL, Lego, Hobbits, and many others. Wonderful. Now that we have a brief about your background, can you introduce what is Metagod? Well, Metagod is a multiverse project that strives to develop a complete ecosystem with a digitally rendered 3D virtual reality-based metaverse. It offers its users the sole authority of creating, building and controlling their own metaverse focused on gamification, social interaction, entertainment and play to earn. In simple words, I would say Metagod acts as an ecosystem with the potential to revolutionise traditional gameplay. It will build a first-of-its-kind ecosystem that provides a seamless experience for gamers and developers looking to participate in the lucrative opportunities present in Play to Earn and the blockchain space. So, what I understand is that you are going to create an ecosystem around Metaverse and GameFi. So, my query is that, how did you get interested in challenging these two emerging spaces in particular? A good question. The thing is, just like you mentioned in the introduction, that Metaverse is becoming an $800 billion market by 2024, which is like within two years. Similarly, the potential of GameFi is also significant. In fact, the global gaming market, which is valued at $173.7 billion in 2020, is predicted to reach $314.4 billion by 2026, with a CAGR of 9.64% between 2021 and 2026, and GameFi will have a significant footprint in this growth. Now, Considering the growth we can expect in these markets and the existing projects in this space, Metagod will stand out by creating a multiverse protocol for NFT products and GameFi with no analogous in the traditional gaming world. Metagod will act as an ecosystem that revolutionizes traditional gameplay. It will build a first of its kind ecosystem that provides a seamless experience for gamers and developers looking to participate in the lucrative opportunities present in play to earn and the blockchain space. Impressive indeed. Can you explain how will this ecosystem going to work? Sure. So what happens is that Metagod offers an ecosystem which offers multiple products and services such as game publication and development modules, 
a dedicated SDK, user incentivization mechanism, and technology architecture. With the ecosystem in place, while at one end users will be able to engage in incentivized gameplay through Play to Earn, the developers will also be able to use our infrastructure and offer their games and metaverse projects to their respective communities. All right, so let us discuss about the role of NFTs and avatars in the meta world. Why not? So what happens is that, like any game out there, MetaGod will also feature key characters called God Avatars. These characters, however, act as NFTs and represent actual ownership of the owner within the game. About their role in the gameplay, God Avatars, or characters, play the most crucial role within the GoGoverse as they represent a user's virtual representation within the GoGoverse, within an associated game or any aspect of the GoGoverse ecosystem. These avatars also represent the user's exclusive VIP pass to enter into the GoGoverse. Furthermore, Avatar NFT records a gamer's journey in the GoGoverse. It helps to store all the in-game experiences and connected in-game asset data. Also, it reserves the main feature to unlock play to earn mode, whereas the owner can stake MTG on it to increase the reward multiplier. Wonderful. So NFTs will also play an important role in the MetaGold's ecosystem. Do you also have a plan to offer a stacking ad mechanism in place? Absolutely, yes. To allow our users to get recurring payments from their stake in the project, MetaGold will feature both farming and staking modules. So for staking, it requires to stake MTG on your God Avatar NFT to kickstart play to earn mode. Without the purchase of God Avatar and stake MTG on it, gamers can still enjoy free-to-play mode. Please also explain how will users be able to exchange and sell their in-game assets? Excellent question. This subject is directly related to MetaGod NFT Marketplace, which works as a non-custodial decentralized NFT exchange that's inspired by the model of OpenSea Marketplace and is a further step adding value to these decentralized networks. MetaGod Marketplace supports trading of the God avatars with multiple functions such as bid and sell. The MetaGod Marketplace will serve as a decentralized marketplace for NFT characters within the MetaGod ecosystem and GoGoverse, where creators will be able to exchange their NFTs on the blockchain network without needing to go to a third-party exchange marketplace. So, Ms. Emma, before we discuss the tokenomics, I would like to uh, tell our audience about the significant achievement of MetaGod whereby your team raised over $900,000 despite being so early. Please let us know more about this. Well, Nancy, while it may seem that the fundraise we've secured is early, I'll tell you that this achievement is really the fruit of the reputation that our team has built from decades of combined experience. Through my personal journey as an entrepreneur, I've built connections with leading venture capital firms, venture capitalists, seed investors, and high net worth individuals. Aside from that, there's significant research and work done on the back of MetaGod, which certainly has potential. And I'm glad that DX Venture and Moom Studio could see this, and they've tapped on this opportunity. I'd also like to mention that while we have enough connections for securing development funds, decentralization and public participation is really what we focus on. In this regard, MetaGod will be offering pre-sale rounds and public rounds, whereby general public um, would also be able to access MTG tokens and become an early participant to enjoy the rewards as the project progresses further. Impressive. Please also explain how are tokenomics going to work in MetaGod? So the MetaGod ecosystem uses a triple token mechanism, all of which are deployed on Binance Smart Chain Network and have their exclusive functionality within the ecosystem. MTG, which acts as the native token of the ecosystem, can be accessed from private and public sales or through trading from a listed exchange. This token is used for Mint Genesis Avatar NFT as a staking token on Avatar for Play to Earn, for staking to unlock Scholar account within the Vault staking, and as a medium for stake to vote for new game on board. 
The second token, G Gold, which can be earned as a play to earn incentive and can be traded on the exchange. It's usable within the Metagon marketplace for trading NFT assets. It can also be used for purchasing extra chance of rolling dice in the game and for purchasing advertisement like the Ads Pass. The third token is GGEM, which can be acquired via play to earn only, but it's not tradable. Its utility, however, is to unlock new chess box and list to sell in marketplace and earn G gold. Impressive indeed. This is very interesting and I'm inspired that Metagold has covered all aspects of the ecosystem it intends to in a profound way. Before we sign off, can you please explain what is the revenue generation model? Sure. Metagold has several revenue streams that are mentioned. Revenue from the sale of token and trading in exchange in NFT marketplace. Revenue from the transaction fee, Genesis avatar sale, NFT sale, marketplace transaction fees, dice bundles, advanced SDK subscription fees and advertisement fees. Last question. How do you foresee the metaverse space in the coming years and what's the potential for Metagod? The gaming and metaverse space is expected to reach $412.9 billion in 2024 versus $274.9 billion in 2020. Although this is the existing market for online game makers, those that are successful in capturing a higher share of users and engagement through the elevation of current games into virtual worlds can garner a higher share of sector sales. We believe that the play to earn model adopted by Metagod is opening a wide new door on solutions to ease the difficulties brought by the pandemic and equipping players with experience and the ability to manage their finances before the pandemic enters the crypto market. We believe also that with Metagod ecosystem, developers can use our technical infrastructure to both build and publish immersive games and in turn monetize it, while at the same time users will be able to enjoy and play to earn. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a very productive session with the key person of Metagod today. We get to know the Metaverse trend and based on what we learn about Metagod, there is no doubt that Metagod will be at the center of Metaverse shift as the trend progresses and Metagod system develops further. The project is inception stage and you can be part of this amazing ecosystem. To know more about Metagod, visit the website www.metagod.app Thank you for coming, Emma. Thanks so much for having me, it's been a pleasure.